welcome to Eurovision concert in Amsterdam. Beautiful sunny day in Fondel Park we are. Now next to us is the delegation from Azerbaijan and especially a gentleman that has been there before at the Eurovision Song Contest. At that time it was Samir with Elnur and Elnur is now here with us. Elnur is enough representing Azerbaijan for a second time. Yes. Nice to see you again Elnur. Thank you so much. Thank now you. you represent Azerbaijan at the Eurovision Song Contest with a beautiful song called The Hour of the Wolf. Tell us about the creation of the song and uh, was it made for the Eurovision Song Contest? Была ли эта песня создана для Евровидения? Как она оказалась твоей конкурсной песней? Ну, мне предложили э, с телеканала «Эйч, ты мои» э, пару композиций, и я вот набрал именно эту композицию. После чего был изменен текст, и мне очень важно э, именно контекст этой, этой композиции, потому что он несет э, все чувства, которые во мне в данный момент бурлят. Okay. So I've got a few songs from Istimai uh, for me to decide as well and to consider and that's the song I fell in love straight away. We changed uh, some parts of the lyrics and music arrangement but it's basically the same song as was submitted to the national selection. And why I like this song is just because the message of the song is really close to me, to my heart uh, and all the feelings I'm, I'm trying to tell on the stage and sing about about them, they're actually what is going on inside of me right now. Now in 2008 it was uh, Samir with you. How is Samir doing? Are you still doing things together? Samir is now doing his projects. I think everything is good. And uh, Samir is busy with his solo projects and different projects, so he's doing pretty well in Azerbaijan, yeah, but uh, we're still in touch. Mm -hmm. And uh, between 2008 and now, what have you been doing on the music scene? Have you been continuing singing or been doing something else, television perhaps? Мне да, у меня есть проект, безусловно, в Стамбуле, и в данный момент я не хочу сегодня говорить о них, потому что это лучше останется в секрете. А так я продолжаю учиться, я продолжаю искать себя в моем стиле пения, исполнения. I'm still searching for, for myself and my st style, let's say, um, and what that's what I've been doing actually for these eight years, experimenting in different styles of music. Right now I've got a couple of projects in Istanbul where I live, and, uh, but I don't really want to talk about that now, you will see probably after Eurovision. Yeah. yeah. So you're working on an album, a complete new music style that you are... Yes. Okay, yes. we're looking for... Yes, you feel it! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Istanbul, that's where you live now? Yeah. So why, why have you been moving to Istanbul? Потому что каждый исполнитель, каждый человек искусства иногда должен менять место положения, можно сказать, страну, чтобы приходили новые идеи. И помимо этого я выиграл конкурс «Голос Турции». И в данный момент я должен находиться там, учитывая то, что есть кое-какие проекты. Basically, I fell in love with this city and I uh, strongly believe that all the creative people, they have to move from time to time and uh, search for inspiration in different countries. Uh, that's what I did and that's why I moved to Istanbul and it, as you know, I won uh, the war in Turkey. So now I kind of have to live in Istanbul um, and work on that project I just mentioned. Okay, now I see you have a nice uh, badge on your on your um, uh, suit. No, yeah. uh, the badge here. Uh, I love oh, yeah. MCR. What does it mean? Uh, Manchester. Manchester, yeah, and this is from uh, Manchester. Is that Give it to me in, like a present. Is it, a, is it the football team or is it the city you like? <laughs> I've never been there. You've never been there? <laughs> Do you want to go there? I think yeah. Yeah. Of course, I I want to know some countries, some mm. cities. Of course, okay. we'll see. No, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, of course. Yeah. Cities or, or countries you've been visiting to promote your song for Eurovision this year? Uh, <laughs> no, you can call them. Ну, ты уже будь добр, ты сам назови. Uh, he asked me to answer this yes, question. We've already been to Hungary, uh, to Riga, mm -hmm. and now we're in Amsterdam. But we're going on after, um, after this, we're going on to a few more countries. Okay. And which ones will those countries be? Uh, tomorrow we're going to Belgium. Okay. Then Athens, Greece, Moscow. Uh, what else? Georgia, Georgia. Belize. 
this is the last stop. Now, you're going for two weeks to Vienna. What will you be missing most when you uh, are away from home? My cat. <laughs> you have a cat? <laughs> no, yeah. So do I. A big one. <laughs> yes, he, he has a six years old. It's my child. Because I, I find him, uh, he's he been uh, homeless mm. and very, very sick. And uh, this, now it's uh, amazing. It looks amazing. And also, of course, when I go out and don't stay a long time with him, uh, I feel, I don't know, I'm very worried about him. I don't uh, know why. It's a, it's a, I don't know. Oh, nice. Well, I wish you all the best of luck for, for your song at Eurovision, for yourself, for your Thank career, you. after Eurovision, of course, as well. And uh, enjoy these two weeks of Eurovision. And nice to see you again.